thank you. Uh, right, that's going to be a bearing land. It's currently at uh, 41 mil. Needs to be taken down to taken down to 40. Um, my micrometer reckons it's a tenth over, but it's quite hot at the moment, so I'm going to let it cool down before we do anything else. Okay, so we're uh, we're all cooled down. Time for a quick check of dimensions. So forty-one point eight zero eight. So yep, we're five six five six seven eight yeah eight. Eight hundredths of a millimeter over the forty-one. So there we go. And So this is a piece of um, 130 mil, I think, uh, cast iron, uh, ductile cast iron water pipe, mains water pipe. Um, this is being, this is going to be used as well. Yeah, come out of there. Yeah. It's pretty much at the limits of what my lathe can handle. Um, actually, almost beyond the limits. Um, you know, it turns over the over the bed, but it's really not happy. So I'm doing squaring up that nice square edge against the back of the chuck, chuck drawers. touch for the moment. That seems to be about right. Yeah. And let's see how that spins. Nice. So square this end up as well. So a pair of aluminium blocks rescued from my old work, uh, they need taking down flat, they're super glued onto a backing plate and these are going to get used for, well, for my, new, uh, my new drill sharpening jig that I need to do to finish the, well so that I can do the deep drilling on the spindle. Right, so where are we at and uh, what do we have and what do we not have? First of all, what we don't have for the moment is a plate cut to sit on the front of here. 
Um, I've made a little cardboard template, which is under my coffee mug, of course. Um, there you go, cardboard template for cutting out said, said plate. Um, we have to cut it out, and then we're going to have to use the mill as a uh, makeshift, uh, makeshift lathe to be able to bore out the hole in the centre. Uh, on the, uh, the plate that goes on the front, we'll go this big chunk of cast iron. That's going to get welded in place with some, uh, with some reinforcement. It's a pain in the ass to weld cast iron to steel, but you can do it. Um, so basically the plate will be bored out to fit this um, so, that I can, uh, so that I can weld on both sides. Um, this neck piece will sit in the middle. There's actually a small, and there's a small piece that's made from uh, uh, the disc of a car, a car brake disc. Uh, that will sit in and bridge uh, and bridge this. Uh, can we see that? Uh, no, you can't see that. Bridge this boss here, which comes out by about 15 mil. Um, this needs to be notched. I have a template for notching, which I have placed somewhere. Bugger if I know where, but I can always print out another one if I need one. Um, then, on top of there, we have a housing for the spindle. Um, can we see? Can we see that? Yeah, no, let's get everything in frame, shall we? So that will be notched down, and it'll sit about here. Uh, in between the two of these will be epoxy and a pair of split collet uh, split collet locks to to enable me to rotate as I wish. There you go. We have a pair of bevel gears, of which we have seen quite a lot. Hang on, lost a zoom in on those. Uh, so 60 and 61 teeth. Um, they go on the spindle and the drive shaft respectively. Drive shaft not yet built. Spindle. So bevel gear sits on here. We need to cut keyways in there. We need to cut uh, cut uh, woodruff key slots in the spindle. Not too deep obviously. Um, so that's going to sit in here. We have a pair of end caps which will be welded into place. Um, these are already bored out for the bearings, uh, which are 3208 at the front end of the spindle, 3207 at the arse end. There will also be a thrust bearing set on the back in here, upon which Yon gear will ride. That's where we're at at the moment. Um, the drive shaft is relatively simple. Um, I will need to. It's going to need to be in two pieces. There'll be one piece that sits with the uh, with the gears on, one that sits in the spindle here with a Morse four taper on it, and a uh, God. What are they called? Um, Ah, I've completely forgotten the name of the coupling. Hold'em coupling between the two of them. Um, and there we go. Uh, the nose of the spindle needs to be beefed up a bit, taken out wider, because it's not wide enough to, to take the drive dogs for an ISO 30. So I need to make up a, a shrink fit piece that will sit on the front of here. Um, so bearing sits here, then there's a you know, your thrust bearing. Other bearing sits on the tail here. So we're actually supported quite a long way up the spindle and uh, we should all be good. So that's where we're at as of today.